It's news that a group of Waukegan residents have been fearing. They live near a Waukegan plant that emits a potentially cancer-causing gas. Now researchers say there's evidence that higher levels of the chemical are showing up in some residents' blood. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the results and asking what they mean for these families. Do you have to finish all that tonight? No, oh, just, just these three. 11 year old Kobe Darden is just focused on finishing his homework. But she said we're grading it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But his mom, Annette, has something much more stressful on her mind. You think that your child's going to get cancer? She's talking about this, the results from Kobe's blood test from a pilot survey conducted by researchers from the UIC School of Public Health. They said the level of the cancer-causing chemical, ethylene oxide, found in Kobe's blood is nearly twice that of the average non-smoker. And for most of his life, he's lived about a mile. No, it's in our backyard. From Medline, a plant that sterilizes medical instruments using that colorless gas. It's the same chemical emitted by Willowbrook's sterigenic plant. I can't even wrap my head around it, to be honest with you, the fact that we're dealing with this. UIC's Dr. Susan Buchanan led the project, which okay. took blood samples from 93 residents who live near the facility. Since it's not a random sample, she cautions that it's important not to draw scientific okay. conclusions, but and we found that the average level of people living closer to the plant was significantly higher than the average in the group that lived farther away. The Dardens have joined the group Stop ETO of Lake County. I strongly considering moving and I don't want to do that, you know. This is where I made my home. And they're taking it seriously. Any facility that is emitting a carcinogen, even legally, in my opinion, shouldn't be located near homes, residents, daycare centers, or schools. A Medline spokesperson tells me they're taking it seriously too, but they question what, if any, conclusions can be drawn from this limited sampling. In the 25 years, we've uh, never seen any indication that there's been elevated levels of ETO within any of our workforce. Medline agrees with researchers that further scientific testing will help answer a lot of questions, but ultimately... You think the residents who live around Medline are safe? I do, I do. Now, Medline says they're also weeks away from completing a more than $10 million upgrade that they say will capture 99.9% .9 of all ETO emissions. Critics argue no level of ETO emission is safe. Darden and other members of Stop ETO of Lake County say they plan to, uh, to again take their concerns to the Waukegan City Council on Monday night. We'll keep following up. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Brad and Erica. All right, Megan, thank you.